Greetings to everyone listening out there and special greetings to my level twos doing electrical engineering. Uh, I'm Mem Kolo, a lecturer in electrical engineering. The program is EIC, that is Electrical Infrastructure Construction, and the subject is workshop practice, workshop practice level two. The topic for today is about engineering hand tools. The engineering hand tools. What are the hand tools? The hand tools are the tools that are powered manually. You work with your hands and with energy when you are working with the hand tools. Now I always say to my students, when you do a workshop practice, as it is theory throughout from topic one up until the end of the topic, there are learning outcomes that guide you. What is it that you must know about the topic? So when you open the page, the topic, you find the learning outcomes. Number one learning outcome says, identify name and the function of the parts and the parts. That is the learning outcome number one. Number two, it says, Describe the function There are so many if you can go down Select the correct hand tools explain the importance of using the hand tools Now let's go straight to the topic the subtopic that we are given the subtopic says select, use, and care the hand tools. Now, we'll start with the selection of the hand tools. The selection of the hand tools. When you select the hand tools. It's like you are purchasing, when you talk of selection, selecting, you are purchasing the hand tools or choosing the hand tools that you are going to use. The examiners can use purchasing, choosing, or selecting when they are asking you the questions. Now, what are the points that you must consider when doing that, when selecting the hand tools? Firstly, you select the tools that are appropriate for the task, number one. Select tools that are appropriate for the task. Number two, you must inspect them carefully. You inspect them carefully. Inspection. Inspect your tools carefully. You do visual inspection. You look at your tool, checking if there are any cracks and all that. Remember, you are doing what? You are choosing or buying your, your tools. Inspect them. Mechanical breakages. Number three, check if they conform to the SANS code of practice. That is SANS, we call it, SANS is the 
South African national standard. That means if you buy your tools, you are purchasing your tools. Buy the ones that have got SANS, the South African national standard. That means that one, it is of a good quality. Okay, so we only have these points when purchasing. You can add because there are so many also. Now, under this selection, there are outcomes that you must follow. Like the ones that I've mentioned here. Identify, name, and also the parts of the tools. Now, I'm identifying now. This is my hammer. Then I, when I look at it, what type of hammer is this one? It is a ball pin hammer. I'm identifying now. This is my ball pin hammer. This is my, my hexo. This is another type of a hexo that we call it the junior hexo. This one is a plier. I also have a, a wire stripper. This is a, a long nose plier. This is a, a screwdriver. To the tools that I'm, I'm identifying now, the parts, let me come to the parts. Let's look at the hexo. The hexo has got a handling, a handle. There's also a frame. This one, it is a, a blade. This one, it is a, a wing nut. And the blade, fixed blade holder, this one. It's holding the blade. So all of them have got parts. If you look at this one, this is a, a hammer, the ball pin hammer. It has got the handle. This is the face. This is the pin, this is the, the head. Uh, I'm not going to mention all of them. Now, all of these tools have got types. If you look at this one, this is a hex, so this is a type of source, one of the types of saws. They have got types. The hand tools have got types. Now, what are the types of saws? There are how many? We have got two types. One type, it is a, this is a hexo. Number two, it is a, a junior hexo. This one is a junior hexo. So now, they said you must describe also the function. The function of a hexo is to cut or saw metals into different dimensions. A hexo. This one, a junior hexo, also does the same. It cuts or saw, but small, small materials. The, this one, the small one. If you look at the hand tools, there are so many. All of them, what I've noticed, they have got types. Number one, they have got the functions. They have got the, the parts. The types, the functions, and then the parts. Okay. Most importantly about this unit, know the points to consider when choosing the engineering hand tools. Now, let's go to another unit that is using the hand tools. Using now. How to use the hand tools. Let's look at the learning outcomes for using the hand tools, because we said we must check the, the, the learning outcomes, the LOs. 
What are the LOs for? Using the hand tools. The learning outcome says, explain the importance of using hand tools safely and indicate consequences of, of the incorrect use of hand tools. Using now. Using the hand tools. Explain the importance What are the importance of using the hand tools safely? When you use the hand tools safely, the most important thing that you must do to your tools, check any defects. because we want to do what to avoid injuries and incidents. Check the worn parts. Also check the worn parts. Check if it is in, in a good condition, if it is maintained or serviced. Then what are the consequences now when you use the incorrect hand tools? Because our learning outcome says explain the importance of using hand tools safely and indicate the consequences. Also important about this, the workers, you must train them on how to use the, the hand tools and must get to, to, to be used to the injuries that are associated with the types of tools that they are, they are using. You are trying to explain the importance of using the tools safely. The basic consequences, consequences now, the consequences. Consequences of using incorrect, of the incorrect use of tools. Let's say you are taking this one, Junior Hexo. You are cutting a hard material. And it is said this one is used to cut small pieces of ma materials. What will happen to the tool? The blade, it will break because it is not for doing the job. The correct one, it is, a, it is a hexo, because this one you can cut the hard material. Again, let me take an example of a screwdriver. This is a screwdriver, a flat screwdriver, and we know the function of a screwdriver, that is to tighten and, the, and to loosen the, the screws. Now you are taking the screwdriver and you are using it as a chisel. You know a chisel, it is to do what? To chip. Then you are doing this to a, a screwdriver. What will happen to the screwdriver? The tip of the screwdriver may break. The handle can break also, the handle of the screwdriver or else there will be the flow of You find that the handle goes the other way and then the screwdriver do the same. You can also injure yourself and the people around you. These are the consequences.
identify unsafe the unsafe equipment how to identify them how to identify the unsafe hand tools i'll make the i'll use this hexo if it it is unsafe i'll check the, the teeth you must check the teeth look at the teeth they must not they must not have kinks or gaps the frame must not bend the handle it must not have cracks and the tensioning wheel they must not have what the rust now what are the basic safety rules when using these general basic safety rules don't put your your tools in your pocket you must never put the tools the hand tools in your pocket your tools must comply with the sands number two your tools must comply with the sands regulation and also never use tools for the function that is not designed for i made an example of a screwdriver that you use it as a chisel. Now, what are the injuries that you can expect when you do the incorrect way of the tools? What are the injuries that you can get? The greatest injuries are the misuse. Misuse of tools. and the maintenance maintenance or servicing of the tools the misuse of the tools how you are misusing the tool you are using a screwdriver instead of a of a of a chisel you are using a junior hexo instead of a of a hexo that is it, the misuse, you are misusing it. When doing, when you, the tools are not maintained. Now this is my, my hammer. It is not maintained, a wooden hammer. Let's say it is made of a wood, wooden hammer. When you look at the handle, it has got cracks. When you look at the head, the head is loose. The head is loose. That means your tools, you are not doing what? You are not maintaining your tools. Then there will be injuries and incidents that will happen because you, the people around you are not safe and you are not safe also. Even the material that you are working on it is not, is not safe. Now let's come to the how to use now, the how. How to use the hand tools. It says you must demonstrate this one, how to use the hand tool. I will use my hexo. How to use demonstration. I'm demonstrating now how to use the hexo. You must stand firmly. You hold your hexo with your right hand. Any hand, in fact, because you can be left-handed or right-handed. The, the other hand must hold the hexo on the frame, the front part of the, of the hexo. But your thumb must be out, not inside. And then the fingers around your, the frame of your hexo. That time you, you, you are balancing. Then you use the forward stroke you put pressure, slight pressure on a forward stroke and then you release on a backward, when you move backward. Then again on a forward stroke and then you release. 
You must also check your teeth, the teeth of the blade. They must point away from the, from the handle. Now, when carrying now, all the tools need to be cared for. All of them. How to care? I'll always make the example of a, of a hexo. How to care for this? When you care, you must care before and then and, and after. Now, you are done with it, working with it. Check now if the blade is not broken. If the wing nut is not rusty, there is no problem with it. The frame also is not bent. Then you wipe it, the blade, with an oily cloth and also you oil the wing nut. This topic goes hand in hand with the other one that is the power, the power tools. The application of the theory is the same because also you have to do to select, to use and then to to care. Now when you select, you apply the same theory that you have got on, on the hand tools. The theory is the same. When you, when you are doing a selection of the, of the hand tools, checking if it conforms with the sun's code of practice, if they are in a good working condition, uh, if there are no breakages, there are no defects, and all of that. Then you name the parts, you list the, the power tools. The power tools, for example, if I can mention, we have the what? The grinders. The drilling machines, drilling machines, the grinders are in two. We have angle, the angle grinder, and the bench grinder. Drilling machine, we have a drill press or pedestal drilling. We have a drill press or the pedestal drilling. And we also have the portable, portable power tool, portable power tools. If you look at it, the application, as I have said, it is the same as that one of the, of the power, power tools. Then you identify, you name the parts of the tools. The drilling machines are fixed. Drilling, especially the, the drill press, it is a fixed one. I'm talking about the power tools, the grinders, the drilling machines, and I gave you the types of grinders, that is angle grinder and then the bench grinder. Then the drilling machine is a, the drilling machines is a drill press, or the other name, it is a pedestal drilling. Then the portable drilling machine, the portable drilling machine. These ones, the drilling machines, you must know what the parts, parts are very important. Then what is common to the hand tools and the power tools is that common is selection. When you select it is common, the selection is common. You can use the selection, the points for the hand tools because they are, they are the same. You also check the defects. You check when selecting, you check if it's working properly, it is in, it, it is in good condition. You check if it is in, in conformance with the science code of conduct. Code of conduct, science code of conduct. Now, what is the difference 
between the power tool and the hand tool. I saw in a question paper asking the difference between the power tool and the hand tool. The hand tools, a hand tool are those tools that are powered manually. They are powered manually. But these ones, the power tools, are using what? Electricity. These are, are using electricity for them to, to work. So it was, it was four marks is the question. Now this function, drilling machine, the function of the drilling machine, it is to do what? To drill holes, but it needs what? Attachments in order to do that. So if you have questions to the topic that we have just done now, you can, you can go to social media platforms of the college. Thank you. Bye. Mm -hmm.